Thank you, very nice. A long time ago, the very first Royal Command performance had on it a magician. The most famous magician in London at the time was David Devant, a great magician. And in those days, well, magic was different to the way that I present it. It was a lot different. And uh, nowadays, the children look at the badge of the magician. And when they look at the badge of the magician, they see him, he's always pulling a rabbit out of something. And the children are confused. So I thought I'd go back a little way in magic and uh, present that trick to you tonight. Um, so let's do it. Can I have a round of applause for my lovely assistant, Miss Debbie McGee? She always helps me, and she's here tonight. Thank you, Debbie. Now, she has to do something very strange, the strange slopes, as it always did in those days. So they used to lower something at the back for the magician to stand on, and then the table did not escape, and the orchestra finished up doing the act. Now, children, if you are viewing, this is important. That is not a vase, a vase, or a vase. That is a hat, a top hat. Nowadays, nobody wears them. But in Victorian times, when a man went to the disco, <laughs> that was on his head. That was the top hat. Oh, and the trick was dead easy. Pulling a rabbit from a hat was really easy. Because in those days, they had a different fashion again. They had fat sleeves, not this thin stuff. So all they had to do was this. All they had to do was they just leaned on a piece of scenery. And once they were on the scenery like that, they would talk. And as they talked away, someone would drop a rabbit down the sleeve. See? Oh, it's true. This is where the expression obviously comes from, rabbiting on. Now, the moment the rabbit was in there, the magician would turn away from the wings and he would smile. He would sparkle. His eyes would flash. He would catch every eye in the theater. And why? Because he had a big bulge here going like this. He would approach the hat, straighten his arm, the rabbit would go zonk into the bottom of there. Zonk, and it would, poor little rabbit would lay there, like that. Thinking my agent promised me a part in Watership Down, and here I am. Now, so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I should like to present for you all a world-famous rabbit from a hat. Thank you. This has nothing to do with the trick. This is just union rules for magicians. <laughs> Please, however, take note that there is nothing at all up this sleeve. Here we... I'll start again. There's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. And as you can all... You stand at this end of the table to do the trick. It's the only way. And then you reach into the hat and you produce a rabbit. You keep hold of the hat. And then, having kept hold of the hat, the magician would reach in and produce a rabbit from a hat. That's not a rabbit, that's a hare. Ladies and gentlemen, the trick that has fooled millions. <laughs> it's for children, missus, all right? It's for children. <laughs> Nobody said it was designed to fool an adult. Thank you. so I can't find the rabbit. But I am a professional magician. I carry a spare. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the classic rabbit from a hat. <laughs> I think the pesky wabbit is trying to get away. I shall sneak up on the pesky wabbit. moment we have all been waiting for. <laughs> Especially me. Rabbi <laughs> Mahat! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm really sorry. They see, that's not supposed to be there at all. That's supposed to be on a hook, right around, around the back of the table, you see, like that. And then what to do, you put it there. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you do not laugh, you do not applaud until the magician produces a rabbit from a hat. Like that. Hello. Off you go. Off you go. 
There he is. Now, I stay a while here just to point something out because I know a lot of people love animals and worry. Don't worry about Starsky. We call him Starsky. He's got a hutch upstairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. The hole in the hat is always bigger than he would tunnel in the ground, ladies and gentlemen. Always. Always bigger than he would tunnel in the ground. And just in case you thought that was a fluke, this is his big trick. Go on, son. Out you pop. Yes, daddy loves you. And a lot of people pick up their animals by the ears. Never do that, children. That's dangerous. Come on, son. Get in the hat. Take a bow. Don't forget the box. That's the box. And off you go. Bye now.